At the heart of quantum mechanics, every quantum state is described by an abstract yet mysterious quantity called a wave function. These wave functions change in time based on external effects. The job of the Schrodinger equation is to describe how exactly these quantum wave functions change in time. Schrodinger equation is a linear equation. This means linear combination or superposition of different solutions to the Schrodinger equation is again a valid solution. It is exactly this linearity property that gives all the headaches. Linearity is contagious. Anything that comes in contact with the superposition state must also end up being in the superposition state. Mathematically, if vector A evolves to A prime and vector B evolves to B prime, then if the evolution is linear, the superposition of A and B evolves into A prime plus B prime. This fact that the Schrodinger equation is linear has a significant consequence in the foundation of quantum mechanics. To demonstrate that, we borrow a simple thought experiment from David Albert's Quantum Mechanics and Experience book, published in 1992. The device from the book is called the X-spin detector, with an opening where electrons may enter and a pointer that can point to one of three labels. Ready, indicating the system is prepared to take a new measurement, spin up, indicating the system it has measured has a spin up, and spin down indicating the system it has measured has a spin down. The up and down are in the X direction. With this experimental setup, the machine is ready and receives an electron with an X spin up. The machine particle system will evolve into a state where the machine's pointer will read spin up and the electron will remain in the spin up state. And if the device in the ready state receives an electron in spin down, then the machine particle system will evolve into a state in which the machine's pointer will read spin down and the electron will remain in the spin down state. Now, instead of feeding the X spin detector a particle spinning in the X direction, we feed it an electron spinning in the Z direction. In quantum mechanics, an electron in an up state of Z spin can be rewritten as a superposition of up and down X spin states. It then follows from what we know about our detector and the linearity of the central dynamical law of quantum mechanics, the Schrodinger equation, that our system will evolve into a state in which the machine's pointer will be in the superposition state of finding the electron in the superposition state of being spin up and of being spin down. Linearly is contagious. Anything that comes in contact with the superposition state must also end up being in the superposition state. Now, the trouble is, has anyone ever observed a measuring device particle system in such a state? What would it look like to observe a measuring device in some superposition of pointing in two places? The prediction is not simply absurd, but totally wrong. This is not what we observe in the world. Instead, we observe either the measuring device measuring the electron in spin down direction with an approximate frequency of 50% or the measuring device measuring the electron in the up direction with an approximate frequency of 50%. Here, we have reached a version of the measurement problem. Schrodinger developed a thought experiment, Schrodinger's cat, to illustrate that this can't possibly be right. If the rules of quantum mechanics are to be believed, then we must go into the superposition state of finding the superposition state of a cat being alive and dead after we open the box. But we always see either a cat being alive or dead. Let's conclude the video with key points. Schrodinger equation is linear. This linearity gives a superposition state. This superposition state is a valid state according to quantum mechanics. While we never observe the superposition state, it does affect the statistics we make in our lab. This is a version of the infamous measurement problem and Schrodinger's cat is a popular example of this.